Good morning. This is Akashvani Kohima, the morning news read by Matsina. Union Home Minister Amit Shah has said the time has come to uproot terrorism from the country. He said, for that we will now have to work towards zero tolerance strategy and zero tolerance action. Shah was addressing the 49th All India Police Science Congress in Dehradun yesterday. The Union Minister said, in the last nine years, the central government has made significant achievements in improving law and order in Jammu and Kashmir, the left-wing extremist region and the Northeast. The Home Minister said that development has gained momentum due to a reduction in violence in leftist areas. The Nagaland State Human Rights Commission NSHRC team, led by Chairperson Justice Songkuk Chung Serto, visited the Chumukedima police station and investigated the tragic incident that occurred on October 3 when a 19-year-old boy took his own life inside the police station. Justice Songkup Chung Serto and his team held an extensive inquiry session with the officials and staff who were on duty during the unfortunate incident. They inspected the lockup area where the incident occurred and also collected crucial footage and data necessary for further examination. During the interaction with the police station officers and staff, Justice Soto emphasized the importance of vigilance and the implementation of a roster system to prevent such incidents in the future. He stressed the need for proactive measures to ensure the safety and well-being of individuals in custody. DCP Chumukadima K.M. Munesh, Commissioner of Police Kevithuto Sophie and ACP Chumukadima Ninoto Zhumomi were also present. Two tribal bodies have urged the state government to implement registration of indigenous inhabitants of Nagaland, RIIN, without any delay, stating that it is the tool to save the upcoming generation from the influx of illegal immigrants. The decision was taken during the joint coordination meeting of Chakruma Public Organization and Western Sumihoho at Chekie village, Chumikadima, yesterday. The organizations resolved that RIIN should be immediately implemented with a cut-off year from 1st of December 1963, when Nagaland became a state. This will allow only those with ancestral roots and historical connections to the indigenous communities of Nagaland. Further, it had resolved to accept and reaffirm the stand of the state government notification issued on 20th December 2021 on Chumikandima district boundary. Advisor to the Chief Minister and Chairman of the Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland, IDAN, Abu Metha, held a meeting with Consul General of Germany, Barbara Voss, in Kolkata yesterday. The meeting focused on various strategies aiming at bolstering ties and fostering collaborations between the two entities. Discussions included ideas pertaining to partnerships in culture, music and youth activities, as well as enhancing people-to-people -people contact and exploring potential investment opportunities. During the meeting, Metha conveyed warm greetings from Nagaland Chief Minister Nipu Rio to the newly appointed Consul General for a successful tenure. Metha expressed confidence that the meeting would yield positive outcomes in the near future. The IDAN chairman also extended his appreciation to the cons German consulate for the positive and welcoming approach. The death toll in the Sikki flash flood disaster has risen to 30, including nine Indian Army personnel. 81 people are still missing. A total of 1,320 houses were severely damaged and 13 bridges washed away after the glacial fat Lonak Lake triggered a flash flood in Tista River on Wednesday. A total of 30 relief camps are open, where over 7,000 people have taken shelter. Minister of State for Home Affairs Ajay Kumar Mishra yesterday chaired a meeting with Sikkim Chief Secretary of the Departments, Army and other organizations at Tashiling Secretariat in Gangtok. He said the central government is closely monitoring the situation in Sikkim and all necessary assistance for the state is being provided. The minister informed that an inter-ministerial committee comprising senior officers from ministries of agriculture, road transport and highways, Jal Shakti, energy and finance will visit the state from today to take stock of the ground situation, assess damages and provide assistance. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a good day.